سلمان
is one city, one city is to another city. You see. And thou, thou shalt die in a polluted land. America is polluted. America has so much contamination in the soil. So much plastic and other non-biodegradable non materials inside the landfill. Plus, all the, the, the blood that's been shed by the many different slaves, ancestors, and indigenous people here, Israelites, that he saw as evil, came to slaughter and kill. Okay. And left slain here and there all over the land. The blood, the land has been polluted with the blood of those that were slain by the Israelites. And the one that they slain their blood is Esau. He is Esau. And Israel shall surely go into captivity. Forth of his land, you see, because we're in captivity here in this land that we're in now. We're in captivity. You see, we're going to look into some precepts concerning that verse. Concerning, yeah, concerning that verse. And so we're going to go off into uh, Psalm here. Thy wife. Starting off with thy wife. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 16. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. The time is going to come when you see your children being beat and raped by martial law soldiers. That's, that's martial law soldiers. Those are figures of authority. You would expect them to care for the you know. It's going to be wild. It's going to be a, a, the time of lawlessness. This, that's going to be going on. And then, then you have the young men that's going to be invading the, the, the houses because when, you, when, you, when they declare martial law and there's no food, people do got to come out of their houses get some food to eat, but, but they, they're going to also shut down the grocery stores, convenience stores, and gas stations. All these things are going to be shut down. They're going to mean when they say curfew, no no vehicles are, are, are going to be allowed on the streets. You see? And so the martial law soldiers are going to be torturing the people, beating the people, raping the people during the day. And then the young men roaming through the alleys and in between people's houses, busting into people's houses by night. The people are not going to be able to even get any sleep. They're going to be so tired. Sleep, sleep deprivation is going to be going on. It's going to be a wild scene. The time of lawlessness. Their houses shall be spoiled. You see, because they're going to come into the people's houses. They're going to pillage, rape, and enter into people's houses. Sedition amongst men. You see, these, these, these are the things that are going to be going on. And their wives ravaged. You see, that means took it. Their wives are going to be took it and raped. And everything in mind that going to be done to, to these women. Get a few more precepts here. Let's go down here further. Okay. Let's slide you one moment here. Okay. And we're going to go off into Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 11. They ravished the women in Zion. You see? In Zion. They ravaged the women in Zion. That means you black, Latino, Native American, and the women, the daughters of Zion, y'all are going to be most definitely in trouble because 
the guys are going to remember that you, you went with them. You called the police on them, had them arrested, got them sitting up in prison. Right now, they can't get out. You know, during a time of, of society shutdown, all those guys are going to be released. They're going to be back on the streets. Meanwhile, you got the guys on the street that you have to call the police on. And that you have been getting all types of child support. And that you have been sleeping around on. And these same guys also are hooting the neighborhoods for the criminals, little thieves of the block. You know, little no goods. They've been watching you bring in a, 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 a food. They know you got food stamps. They know you've been getting weak. They've been watching the senior citizens get, take in the focus home. When society shuts down and there's no food in the grocery store, these young guys are going to remember to come to you, young women, the children's home, looking for food, looking for you women. It's going to be cannibalism. These sort of things are going to be going on. It's going to be, it's going to be horrendous. It's going to be horrendous. And the maids in the city of Judah, you see? You see? It's going to be horrific for you black, Latino, native, pregnant, and women. You see. You see. Hosea chapter 4, verse 13. They, they sacrifice upon the tops of the mountains. I mean, the, the governments of this world. And burn incense upon the hills. I mean, the establishments. Powers. Under oaks and pillars and elms, because the shadow thereof is good. You see? Therefore, your daughters shall commit whoredom. That's what they're going to do. Commit whoredom. All out the streets. Anytime, uh, uh, Sarah chapter 26, anytime the young women are, are without a father, not raised with a good with a father, the young women are going to go out in the streets and do the same as they say they, they mama do. Being a hoe, a slut, a hood rat, and mo. That's the only thing that's on their mind. You know. And your spouses shall commit adultery. You see. A man's wife is not even going to be trustworthy in those days. These times to come. Hosea chapter 4, verse 14. I will not punish your daughters when they commit whoredom, nor your spouses when they commit adultery. Why? Because that's a portion of a wicked man that he has such things. An out of order daughter and a wicked wife. For themselves are separated with. Whores. You see that? The whores. A lot of you uh, so-called black, Latino, Native American, and Indian women, y'all gotten yourselves so conditioned to be able to do what y'all want now because y'all can't. The white man has set up a, a world that is designed just for y'all. Anytime y'all want to sleep around and do what y'all want to do on your man and y'all don't want to hear whatever y'all man got to say, y'all will start an argument with him and, and let him stop y'all. And y'all call the police and have that man arrested. Three times of that doing that, then that makes that man an habitual. And he goes he go to jail for 10 to 15 years. So that ain't right. That ain't right. And for because of your order, because you want to sleep around and be a whore. You see? And they sacrifice with harlots. You see? With harlots. Therefore, the people that do it not understand shall fall. You see? They're going to fall. By what? The wayside. Fall by the wayside. Zachariah chapter 14, verse 2. 
for I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken. You see, that means spoiled. That means the, the city shall be left in such an uproar. Because the people are going to be going crazy. They're going to be going nuts. They're not going to have any food or water, electricity, you know, you know, or any running water uh, or, or, or any type of uh, natural gas we're cooking and heating, no gasoline to distribution for the gas station so the car people can drive in and fill up the gas tank. All this is going to be on shutdown. <coughs> All that's going to be on shutdown. And the city shall be taken and the houses rifled. That means, that means the people are going to go to other people's houses. Do what they want to do, rifle through their houses. All the people that got them. In their own home, while they ramshack the house, it's going to be home invasion. All these things, and the women ravaged. That means rape. That means taking. It could be taking. And rape. And doing what they want. Guys, going to do what they want to do. These are the things that's going to be happening inside the inner cities more definitely. The suburban areas too, because Jake is going to go out there in those suburban areas. You see, and do what the Bible says. We, we, we read it right now. We read it right now. And half of the city should go forth in the captivity. You see that? You see that? Because. When you have martial law, the people, what else can they do but go into captivity? When you have 10 to 15,000 strong martial law troops coming through the neighborhoods, all the down and down the streets, all up and down the alleys and in the fields and everywhere, checking every nook, training, and everywhere. But you have then is the people who are under siege and they're not going to be able to go anywhere or do anywhere or do anything other than be inside the quarantine area that they're going to be allowed to be. And the residue, that's the one third, of the people should not be should not be cut off or from the city. It's going to be a lot of stuff. There's a lot of things going to on. Now let's go off into uh, We're going to go off now. In chapter 32. Now in verse 9. Rise up, ye women. That are at ease. This is Isaiah chapter 32, verse 9. Yeah, verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice. And ye women, y'all are at ease. Ye careless daughters, y'all are careless. Y'all don't care what y'all do. Y'all don't care how y'all be. Y'all will be any type of way. Y'all are not apologetic for what y'all are wrong. Y'all don't even care. Y'all don't even care the devastation and wreckage that y'all leave behind. That's why in one hour, thy judgment shall come. You know, y'all are so careless. Y'all are, like I say, y'all drive up with a car full of kids. Drive up to a gas station with bombs and stuff standing around, crackheads. And people standing, guys standing all along the bus stop. In 400 meters, traffic lights. And y'all just sit up. And y'all just sit up and get out the car and leave the car running. And walk off the side of the gas station. Like ain't nobody gonna steal that car full of kids. And they will. They're, they're gonna sell them kids. Ooh, we. Ooh, we. Give ear unto my speech. 
Many days and years shall fail you, shall fail you. Be troubled, ye careless women. You see, because y'all are careless. Y'all to walk outside and walk around and, and be on your cell phone and, and wearing pajamas and, and not even paying attention to any food that'll run right up on y'all. Y'all don't even care. Y'all be so, your mind be so dizzy into thinking that you're so missing all of that. That you're not even paying attention to your own surroundings. For the vintage shall fail you. For what? For what is the vintage? The vintage is y'all, whatever y'all resources, y'all money, whether your paycheck, welfare, sugar daddies, you know, y'all got a, 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 a young man that uh, help y'all move y'all stuff. Y'all got a, a young man to help y'all to. Uh, Beat somebody up. Y'all got you know, a young man to help you move furniture. A young man to help you fix your car. Old school to help you pay your your, uh, your phone bill and your light bill. You know, y'all got all these different things going on, except for the right thing. Where's your righteous male cover? Where is that at? The gathering shall not come. What is the gathering? The gathering of all them young men. All them young men, they ain't going to be able to gather for y'all because they're going to be, what? Gathered up for the great roundup of all the young men aged 18 to 32, rounded up and took him, rounded up by the martial law police and took him to either the FEMA camps and made into slaves or took him over to Ukraine and made in the soldiers to, to be put on the front line and used as human shields. You see. Verse 11. Tremble ye women that are at ease. Tremble. It's time for y'all to tremble. Y'all should be afraid. Y'all should be scared. Y'all should be steadfast in trying to find a righteous male cover. That's what you should be looking for. Ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare. That means, that means uncover all that is about y'all that y'all like to hide. All things about y'all are going to be made bare and clear for everyone to see. You see? And so, and that's the thing of that. You see? And let's see. And great sackcloth upon your loins. You see, these things and many different things are going to be happening, and the people are going to be wondering what to do when all this calamity comes down upon you know upon society. What to do? You see. They shall lament before the teeth, before the pleasant fields. See all these things that the uh, for the grateful, fruitful vines. All these things that are now that the people are taking for granted. Right now, you got fresh fruits and vegetables inside the grocery store. You go inside there and get fresh bread. Cakes and cookies, you get ice cream, you get soda pop, milk, you get eggs, dairy, you get all these different things. All these different things. You can go get your hair done, get your nails done, you can go get your feet done, you can get all these different things. All the, the latest different perfumes and different things that smell good. You smell so wonderful. All these different things that y'all can have and get right now. Y'all can bathe yourself in milk and honey. You see, hot milk and honey, if you want to. Every day you want to. All these are luxuries that are coming tonight. They're going to be taken away. They're going to be taken away during the time of the hour of darkness, the time of lawlessness, Jacob's trouble. That's what's coming. That's what's coming. Upon the land of my people shall come of thorns and briars. You see that means straight up, flat out, hard time. That's what's coming. Hard time. You see. 
yea, upon all the houses of joy in the joyous city, you see, of America, because the palaces, it shall be forsaken right now. You got mansions right now here in the city of Detroit that are forsaken because they done been foreclosed on. And the people ain't had no money to uh, to uh, to pay the taxes and different things. And so a lot of people done lost their houses. You got a homeless population that's, that's booming in, in, in L.A., California, you know, Florida, uh, 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 Seattle. You know, it's crazy. It's crazy. The people are losing their homes. The multitude of the city shall be left. You see? It shall be left. Because the people just don't have anything else to do. They have nowhere else to go. The forts and towers shall be for dens for ever. A joy of wild asses, a pasture of flocks. You see? Because things are gonna be going to be so bad for the people. They're not going to have be able to do a thing to survive one way or another. You see? That's how bad and how hard it's going to get. The society shuts down. When no one's moving one way or another, everything is just still. You know? And no cars allowed on the road. The cars basically going to be, uh, the, the roads are going to be uh, like parking lots. The people just standing still. You see? Verse 15. Until the Spirit be, be poured upon us from on high. You see, from the Lord, because that's what the people need, need the Lord. You women, y'all are going to have to seek us righteous men of the Lord. Y'all are going to have to seek us. Y'all are going to have to come looking for us, righteous men of the Lord. This is what y'all are going to have to do. And the wilderness be fruitful field, and the fruitful field be counted for a forest. You see, you women, y'all are going to have to come for us. Righteous men of the Lord. Because we're the only ones that possess a righteous spirit. You see? And so y'all are going to have to come to us. Y'all have no choice. Y'all need a righteous male covering in order for y'all to get into the kingdom of heaven. Y'all to be saved. You see? In order for y'all to be saved. So this is Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. That's right. That means y'all are going to be serious. going to take hold. That's the actual word. Take hold That's of actual. one man. Not just any man, but a righteous man of the Lord. A righteous male cover. A man that's calling upon Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right. Serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And saying... We will eat our own bread because y'all gonna have food and different things. And wear our own apparel, your own clothes. But the only thing of it is, the only apparel that y'all are gonna have to wear is this righteous apparel. Not not know your own philosophies and own doctrines. Not those apparels. You see. Y'all not gonna wear no strange apparel. Only your righteous apparel. You see that you would get gathered from your righteous male cover. Only let us be called by thy name. That means we have to consummate you and make you into a wife. Here's my wife. Okay? To take away our reproach. You see? To take away y'all reproach. Because if the, the reproach that y'all have upon y'all is what's keeping y'all from being able to get to the kingdom of heaven. Y'all have much reproach upon y'all. Y'all, many reproaches that y'all have upon y'all are activities. Activities that have names. And these are some of the names of the activities that y'all engage into. Names and activities such as bitch, whore, slut, hood rat, lot lizard, gold digger, uh, 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 harlot, uh, and it's just so many more 
different bow words that are names, labels of the different activities of the things that y'all do. You see. And so, listen, we're going to go ahead and we're going to end the video off. And, uh, you know, what you ought to take from this video is understand that there's a change coming about for you women. And you're going to have to seek a righteous male cover. You're going to have to seek a righteous man of the Lord if you want to survive from what is to come. Because the righteous man of the Lord is stable in, within his spirit, within himself. You see. And so, and also I'd like to take this time to remind you to press the like button. Press that like button that helps out for the algorithm of the YouTube, of this YouTube channel. And press the subscription button. Go ahead and press the subscription button. That helps out for the for the uh and, and, and the notification bell so that you will receive special notification alerts each time that I release a new video for your spiritual edification. So I'd like to take the time to give all honors and all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great mill throne that taught us this truth. Peace. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.